John 14, 27, Jesus said, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. And I love how he kind of puts a parenthetical statement here. I don't give peace like the world gives. I give you a different kind of peace. Do not let your heart be troubled. Do not let it be fearful. The peace that we are looking for in the world is some supply, some provision. Jesus says, I'll do one better. I'll give you a peace that passes all understanding, as Paul wrote to the Philippians in the fourth chapter, that will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. He does a remarkable thing supernaturally. And here's the tension. We have a part to play. He says, do not let your heart be troubled. I'll be the first to admit, and it's embarrassing to have to admit it, but we should talk real about this because some of you really battle this and your father just wants you free. Sometimes I don't let my heart receive God's peace. I let my heart be troubled. I fixate on the negative. I fixate on the what I don't have. I fixate on the challenges. Instead of doing what the writer of Hebrews said in Hebrews 12 too, fix your eyes on Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. When I fix my eyes here and fixate on this, my faith starts shriveling. I'd encourage you, yes, cling to him, trust him, and do not let your heart be troubled. Because in the weird, weird tension of this Christian walk, God is all-powerful, God is sovereign, God is miraculous, and we are gatekeepers of what we let our hearts fixate on. We are gatekeepers of what we let our minds fixate on. That's why Paul told the Philippians, hey, whatever is good, whatever is excellent, whatever is praiseworthy, think on these things.